Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and nope, not going with that item. Not at all. I'm really crossing my fingers that... Uh, not going with Antite. Antite is all sorts of ass. Uh, I could go with Mishka. Mish Mishka with the shovel. What I really want to do is Mishka with the... Uh, God, I'm not going with Antite, man. I'm not doing it. I need practice. I guess no time like the present. But, you know what, this seems like a really, really solid run. And my main hope here is I can get my hands on the wind leaf. It's also really nice not have to having to rush through the entire level just to uh, unlock an item. Let's oh, should probably make sure. Uh, if the music is too loud, guys, tell me. I, I I'd love to get the drill cannon. Oh, there's nothing there. Please don't hit the TNT. Wow, yeah, this place is just devoid of anything useful. Well, either way, not the end of the world. Um. Uh, Interesting. Apparently worms and stuff. Oh wait, no, I might have set that off with a random T uh, not TNT, random saw blade shot. Uh, it, at some point I will do Entite. Maybe I'll do Entite as a second run tonight, just because I'm really feeling Cavern Kings. Uh, but like, I, I guess Entite could be... <laughs> I guess Entite could be okay now that I have the Wind Leaf. I've just largely been not okay with playing as him. Uh, just because the controls are so weird. Ow. Okay. It's also just kind of nice to do a Mishka run at some point. Because I, I really do enjoy Mishka. Uh, Mishka, Yoji, and Alium, I think, are my favorites. Uh, Robot might be higher if Robot did not look weird. Like, Robot is... Or not Robot, Android. I'm getting my games mixed up here. Um, let's see. Okay, the, the Saw took out the TNT in the previous level. I was wondering about that. Um... But, like, unfortunately, Robot just kind of looks like too much of a 70s sci-fi cyborg idea. And I hate that design. Whereas, uh, you know, if you play Nuclear Thrones, the robot design for that one is just perfect. He's, I mean, it's super simple, whatever. But it's got, like, a nice visual to it. Either way. Uh, yeah, no. Like, I'd love to be good at Entite. I think I would enjoy Entite a lot more. If Entite had a jump and a teleport, considering you're already sacrificing 50%. Oh, you know what? You know who I need to play next, actually? It's not Entite. I need to actually play uh, Top Hat. So there's a cool thing about Top Hat that I didn't know. Um, apparently, every time Top Hat dies, his damage also gets multiplied by a fair amount, too. So I might actually do that uh, at some point. Man, no. Mishka with Yoji Sword? Ooh, that would be beautiful. <laughs> But that would kind of invalidate the need to ever play as Yoji. So, there is that. Not entirely sure why I escaped, apart from... Pseudo... Oh, nope, that's not a chest. Why, was there nothing on this floor either? Oh, well. But, I don't know. I, I assume after a certain point, with weapon select, you might be able to cheat so you can get Yoji's sword at all times. That'd be really cool. And I would be absolutely in support of that kind of business. It would be fun. But, for the time being, this is a pretty solid combo. Please, music, don't don't just go completely silent on me. I won't have to re uh, bring you right back. The saw blade is the only thing left untouched. Nice jump, actually. <laughs> gotta, gotta give kudos to that enemy. He actually made the jump. But yeah, no, I, I... The next patch for this game can't come fast enough. As far as I can tell, they patched the game once. Okay, good. As far as I can tell, they patch the game on a monthly basis, uh, so... Perfect. Uh, so the next patch for this game should be coming out probably within the next week or so. I actually have no idea on that one. Ow. Gotta get that out of the way. <laughs> Otherwise, that was gonna... Oh, holy crap. Digging powers. Activate. Um... But, so hopefully, hopefully they'll have the next patch coming out. Though, then again, I can't exactly be quoted on that one, because I think the next patch is supposed to be the one coming with uh, online multiplayer. At least that's what they're saying on the forums. Which is super exciting, because uh, the moment this game gets online multiplayer, ooh boy. Yeah, it's not good to have vocals on this music. I will, I will absolutely agree with that. Though, luckily a lot of the vocals are super just unobtrusive. Because you can't even tell what they're saying. I don't know. I can always change it if need be, but unfortunately I don't have a whole lot of options here. There really need to be more artists that are just like, alright, yeah, you can use my music for free. Except for, you know, that is, I mean, as an artist of a different variety. 
Okay. Guys can't hear me very well. Let's go fix that. Let's keep going. Okay. Should just be nice and quiet. I don't know. Uh, the problem is, like, after I figured out that uh, OC Remix is actually a no-go as far as, like, useful music, because I could do it. I, I could use OC Remix, but the problem is OC Remix does not have, um... OC Remix does not have, uh... a full fair use. Well, it's not even fair use. It's... It's fair use, but I can't, uh, I can't profit from it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I understand why it works that way, but it's... It was the best... Uh... It is the best music I, I can find, honestly. Like, I really love OC Remixes. Okay, we're just going to just huck bombs all over the place, I guess. Wow! Whole level just destroyed in a couple of swings. That yeah, works for me. Seriously, though, pair of drill bits. Is it two? Yeah, it's only two. I usually don't get those until end game, so that's that's quite the boon. Wow. There's also a lot of boxes here. I guess it kind of makes up for the past past couple ones that have had just jack shit in them. Yeah. I don't e I don't even have to worry about swinging here. It's perfect. All right, we are fabulously wealthy. You might almost say we're fabulously wealthy. Let's probably not get crushed by that block. That would kind of suck. We're not even using the Mishka ability, which is great. It's kind of more more of the last ditch. Like I really don't want to die, and now I'm careening all over the uh, all over the ever everywhere because death is happening super hard, super fast. Well, either way, uh, we're yeah we're no money problems for this run. Ooh, clump of iron, my favorite. I'm really hoping I can get a wind leaf on this run though, because now that it, now that I've actually unlocked it, I, I feel I'm gonna feel cheated if I can't find one. Because you know what, I went through a lot of work just to get that one, and you know what, it's not up. Uh, well, this level's almost non-existent. Uh, went through a lot of work with that on the last run, and I really would like to. Uh, I don't know. Would re really like to. I don't know. See the effects of it, because. Getting, like, several of those can make things really fun. Because one of my favorite things to do in, like, Tower of Guns, for example, is just hurdle through the levels. I, like, I like Ziggurat, but Ziggurat just doesn't... Oh, well, there goes the level. Uh, at least the top half of the level. It's like, I love Ziggurat, but at the same time, Ziggurat does not have that, like, sheer, just wonderful range of motion that uh, the Tower of Guns has. I don't think it... Well, I don't think it will ever... Uh, do so. I know there are a couple of things that you can get. I haven't found, like, a double jump in that game yet, so I, I guess I'd have no idea one way or another. But that'd be that'd be really awesome. Um, to have more games with that. I guess it's really just the old-school shooter-type movement. Um, and so Ziggurat feels pretty close to, I don't know, maybe Doom? I want to say. Oh, War murdered itself. Weird. And looks like we're fighting the boss already. Unfortunately, I do not have any extra jumps, so there's that. At least the uh, less health I have, the more damage we do. So that is a nice little benefit there, and we've got plenty of healing along the way. Now, uh, wow, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of stuff going along here. All right, give me all the things. Yeah. Ooh, hello. This must have hit the TNT by. Oh, you know what? It was probably one of my missiles. Works for me. Doesn't look like we've got anything else up top, but yeah, no. Getting the getting those uh, those two digger drill things is going to be super super useful as far as like navigating, because I mean, oh hello, that's a that's a pair of worms <laughs> stacked right on top of each other. I wonder if that's what actually murdered me on the previous run, because I was wondering about that. It's like I usually don't take that much damage from passing through worm segments, even though each segment can damage you. Uh, individually. But it looks like in this case... Uh, in this case... I have no idea, actually. A lot of worms, though. Pretty much across the board. Yeah, no, I'm not getting turbo murdered by these, so it must have been multiple worms on top of each other. Uh, maybe one of the back ones was a champion worm or something. Also, that, that, uh, that ice block power-up is really making a difference as far as slowing enemies down. Alright, I'm not getting that. Fuck. I would have loved it, but then again, we're sitting on so many gems, doesn't really matter. Either way. There we go, finally a black hole box. See, that would have helped back there. 
Because, wow, yeah. No, I'm very glad we got the drill. Otherwise, it would take forever to drill through all of that business. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got... Uh... Ow. Okay, you know what? Something actually seems pretty doable that one of those worms could pass through me each and every segment and kill me just flat out. Dunno. There we go. Yeah, no, insta-drill makes things so much easier. Or, I guess, insta-dig. insta, insta dig. Please don't knock me off, it, off into the sky. That's how my death happens, and I like living. A lot. It's nice. Now, I should probably uh, think of... Oh, hello. We must be halfway Mishka at this point. Oh. Parasite. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering, it's like, I have the Vortex box and everything, and it was not dr Oh, we got it! We got one! I'm feeling faster already! Wow, yeah, I really am moving substantially faster. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. It feels like 25%? Could be wrong on that one. Well, I don't think I Oh, sweet. I am getting it. Perfect! Alright! Um, but I'm, I'm hoping I can get at least a couple more of those on this run. Because it doesn't feel like I'm hurtling through the sky that fast right now. And that's, that's nice, honestly. Well, either way, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, uh, storybot time. And unfortunately, like, storybot topics are usually off the cuff as far as, like, people are talking about in the chat. God, if I, I really hope I can get a third jump here. That'd be nice. Uh, hello, that's a lot of explosions and a lot of gems. Okay, there's the chest. Yeah, no, and unfortunately, story, Storybot is mostly based on, like, outside... Oh, sweet! Got another one! Alright! Speedy... Speedy the bear! Oh, I wonder if, uh... Okay, it actually spreads out the flame segments, interestingly enough. I'm kind of okay with that. Either way. Yeah! Speed! Because at, at this point, people are talking about, uh, Dragon Force. And it's actually been a very long time since I've listened to Dragon Force. In fact, I barely really listened to Dragon Force. Like, I, I thought it was really cool when I was first discovering that uh, people would rehost music onto YouTube. Which, you know, now that I spend a lot of time doing YouTube, I kind of realize that's not so legal. Um, but when I was in high school, I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. That people could do that. And I spent a lot of time... Oh, sweet. I spent a lot of time in, like, the computer lab listening to music while doing, like, web design stuff. Uh, I guess web development, too? I don't know. Don't know what you say. Uh, you would, uh, Don't know what you want to call that. I spent a lot of time in Dreamweaver in the uh, specific design section, which did end up being some amount of uh, code as well. It was definitely a little bit more on the design side. Um, but so, I always thought that was, like, the coolest thing ever, and I never really like, figured out how to truly find, like, good music there. So, I have to say my, like, music tastes for quite a while were downright awful. Uh, Linkin Park. I, Dragon Force is good, but, like, now I can't really listen to them. Uh, they're just a little bit too energetic for me, which is weird and kind of... Yeah, that is really weird considering I listen to a lot of, like, upbeat techno and, uh, chiptunes. Like, seriously, you can't get any more energetic than chiptunes half the time. Um, I guess they're... Oh, shoot. I guess there is some... Pretty slow techno, but God, I spent a lot of time. Uh, so it's just, since I didn't really know where to look, I actually spent a lot of my time looking at, uh, well, not looking at, but listening to anime music videos. God, um, and man, I, I feel so weird for just like admitting these things, even though it's like there's not really a whole lot of stigma on the internet for watching anime missiles. Um, but like to some base baseline level. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm still slightly... I'm not gonna say ashamed, but it's just kind of like... I don't think I was ever part of a peer group that truly accepted anime, except for the... Oh, shoot. There's not even a level down here. Alright, that's confusing. Um, but like, in high school, the anime club, when I was... <clears throat> when I was part of it, it had four people in it. That was, that was pretty damn small. And, you know, my graduating class was like 300 people, give or take. Um, but, so I, I always feel like some level of just not internalized shame for watching anime, so much as just kind of like, alright, well, I watch anime, uh, 
not like the really shameful stuff. I guess that's part of it. The problem is a lot of the people that I know that watch anime watch the like really weird and bad stuff. I had a I had a dude that wore I had a sort of friend I guess he was a friend uh, that would wear a uh, hello double shovel. We meet again. I really enjoy having double shovel. Um, but this is I I had a friend in in high school. And first time I... Oh, God. I'm... Okay. Story... Story bot engage. Um, so, friend in high school. Met him uh, in cross-country over the summer. Before school even started. Uh, the cross-country team would have summer fun runs. And so everybody would get together and run and hang out and stuff. And so this guy shows up to the summer fun run with a giant-ass backpack in cargo shorts with a Naruto headband on. This is not a good sign. And if you've ever done cross-country during the summer... You realize it sucks with anything other than, like, nothing on. Like, I would run in extraordinarily short shorts if I could. Except for, you know, that'd probably be equally uncomfortable in many other ways. Um, but I'm not a chick, so I, I mean, I could, I, I could probably pull it off. Especially if I run it, ran enough. But I don't. I'm not, like, super overweight, but still. There's a lot of, a lot of saw blades all up in here. God, this, this run ha promises to be very long. If we keep playing our cards right. And you know what? That that wind leaf is making a huge difference here. Uh, I guess the pair of them. Um, but so so this guy shows up. And Naruto, like, he shows up classic nerd. And it's like, alright. Um, you sure you want to you sure you wanna go running in this? He's like, yes. Okay. But here's the problem. He doesn't, he doesn't say, you know, yes in a deep voice. You know, not the sexy, fake, uh, deep wander voice. Um... He, he just sounds like, you know, an 8th grader that decided to go for a run. I don't even know. Uh, problem is, he only spoke in memes. Now, there are very few things to, like, flat out annoy me in life, but speaking in nothing but memes is the fast track to pissing me off, just because it's, like, it's not even interesting wording. It's just, like, who are you? Why are you speaking words? Um, oh, sweet, another drill bit. Wow, this, this run is going great. Um... But so, like, I, I'm feeling kind of bad for, like, degrading this guy, but his first impression was atrocious. Um, and so... Oh, shoot. It's a boss room. I was, I was wondering, it's like, why aren't we going down here? I'm just gonna go lazy, lazy way this way around. Oh, shoot, there's a treasure chest up there. Unfortunately, the one thing I haven't gotten a whole lot of... Ah, deuces... Oh, I made it. Sort of. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up there. Okay. Come on. Come on. I want to get to that chest. Nope. Not getting it. <sighs> Nuts. Not the end of the world. Unless I get popped up there, but that would actually be really bad considering the ceiling's falling down. <laughs> The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Yeah, shit. Not getting that chest. Oh, well. Oh, yes I am. The ceiling dropped it for me. Alright. Chest for me, and it's got missiles in it. Alright, so, um... So th this guy joins the anime club. He joins the cross-country club. He never stops being ridiculously annoying. And, like, he gets better. Like, the dude definitely grew up throughout the course of me knowing him. But he never really grew up to the... Oh, God. That was explosions. He never really grew up to the point where he was a functional adult, period. Um, and, like, he's the kind of guy that would, like, start bothering you on, on Skype, on Steam, or whatever, to talk about just the most inane stuff ever. So, for quite a while, he would just talk nonstop to me about dating games. It's like, alright, this is just, yeah! God, I'm gl glad I just got a triple jump there. Let's see if I can take this out. Yep, make a little... Uh, safety cubby for myself. God, I'm glad I have extra jumps. And, uh, extreme digging power. Mmm, nah. Um, but so th this this guy wore a Naruto headband for the entirety of his time. At, or at least for the entirety of, like, the first two years. Okay, there goes the level. Uh, first two years at high school. Kind of annoying dude, but alright, whatever. Um, but so just, I always felt... <laughs> I always felt bad, because it's like, he's a nice dude. Seriously, extraordinarily nice person. I don't think I ever even saw him get angry. Much less, you know, do anything to somebody else 
it was particularly bad. I, yeah, I don't think this kid ever did any wrong, apart from, you know, kind of being... I'm not going to say a bit of a screw-up. There we go. He was just kind of... I. Uh, he was the classic Asian kid. Uh, yes, he was Asian too. Generally, it doesn't matter that much. But he, he had tiger parents. Extreme tiger parents. And the problem with him is... Um, uh, the problem with, you know, tiger parents is, you know, they're kind of hard to deal with. They're, there's a lot of pressure. Problem is, this this poor kid's sister was actually slot, uh, was almost done with her PhD when she decided to quit school entirely and go off to be a dance instructor. So, suddenly you have, you know, tiger parents that have been stymied by the pre, by the older sister. So suddenly all of the pressure is on the, the you know, next best kid to be the doctor. I'm not talking about Doctor Who. That'd be kind of interesting if there was an Asian Doctor Who. I'd be kind of okay with that. Uh, not gonna happen, though, but but still. Um, but, so, poor kid had so much pressure on him to succeed. And so, I think he's been working at CVS for the past, like, six, seven years. And I think he got held back twice at pharmacy school, which is really impressive, all things considered. Because usually, you screw up in pharmacy school, they just kick you out. Uh, but, dude still, uh... Dude's still there, as far as I can remember. As Oh, oh shoot. Didn't want that. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Um, but so, just to kind of get back on the topic of, like, anime and stuff. So, this kid would really... This this kid did not have a whole lot of friends. Uh, he got more as he grew up, and I think uh, really as more people filled out the anime club. Look, by the time I had graduated to college and whatnot, there were a lot of people in the anime club. Then again, a lot of them were playing just card games in the back and being super loud, so uh, that actually ended up disbanding the club, but at that point I was already gone, so I didn't care. Ha! Anyway, um... But so, I always felt kind of bad because I'd try to avoid associating with a lot of these people because they all had uh, subpar social skills in, in comparison to me. And, like, this is a terrible thing to say. It makes me feel like one of those kind of dickish high schoolers that, like, is kind of your friend but is still ashamed to be around you. Uh, because that was me to some degree. I think part of it is, like, I was already enough of, I'm not going to say, it, like, a social pariah. I never really was. I was just never that interested in, uh, social interaction with people. I, I don't think I even had, like, oh, shoot. Got it. I don't think I ever even interacted with people. Uh, yeah, I don't think I even had interactions with people that did anything else other than video games up until... I want to say junior, senior year of high school. And even then, it was, like, limited contact at best that ended because I realized they were shallow people. And, uh, not that interested in hanging out with me anyway. But it was it was just kind of like, I was, I was a loner just because of sheer disinterest, I think. Um, and I, I think I still am to a very large degree. Uh, but I mind too much. Uh, but, so, like, I always felt bad for hanging around these people because I knew that, like, I was always slightly ashamed to be around them, and it, it made me feel like kind of a dirty person as a result. Um, but, so the same thing kind of can be said about, like, anime conventions and stuff, that I always feel kind of ashamed to be into anime as part of it, because it's like, I go to anime conventions uh, fairly regularly, at least once a year, uh, generally to sell. Uh, you know, you can make a fair amount of money as an artist selling, like, Pokemon paraphernalia, at a convention, so I usually go and just sell that kind of stuff. We have a butt machine and everything. Speaking of, I should make Wanderbot buttons. That'd be cool. Um, but, so, like, I will go to these conventions, and I don't, I, I dressed up for one once, because, uh, my fiance really likes dressing up for stuff. She really enjoys, uh, cosplay. And so she, usually she does, like, Samus, she does, she really wants to do, uh, Tali, uh, Tali from Mass Effect. So I, uh, so I was like, all right, you know, why don't we just do, like, Adventure Time characters? Super, super, you know, just kind of vanilla. Who cares? Um, you know, very easy to put on and off. And not a whole lot of financial commitment or time commitment to make these. Um, okay, we have one vote for Wanderbot buttons. Cool. I will have to I will have to look into doing that. Unfortunately, I don't have the button machine with me. Uh, the fiancé has it. I'll be getting it in a month. I'll have them for PAX, actually. If people are going to PAX, I can probably just sell them there. Or sort of sell... God, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if I want to fight that worm. 
I don't think I have the health for it. Um, but so... Oh, interesting. Level Leveling up actually blows up the TNT boxes. Maybe? Kind of hard to tell on that case. Um, but so, like, going to anime conventions, uh, the first time and only time I've ever dressed up, I immediately got tackle hugged by some unwashed dude. And I was just like, alright, this is not worth it. Actually, no, I had cosplayed, like, once before as Han Solo, and same thing happened, but the person wasn't unwashed, so I was like, alright, well, I mean... This is uncomfortable, but at least I don't feel unclean. And th and then I did the uh, and then I did the other convention where I was, you know, Finn from Adventure Time, and it's like, oh god, oh god, why? And I took took the hat off and switched to pants, and I was like, all right, I am not Finn. I am just I am just regular Wander today. Oh god, I forgot these guys really knock you up into the sky. Well, you're dead. God, wow, that freezer thing just kicks ass. Did not even realize. All right, and we get a shield for it too. That's cool. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm going to make buttons for uh, for packs. I can totally do that. And, uh, I mean, worst comes to worst, I can actually probably just ship them to people. I don't know how hard it is to ship a button. Probably not too hard. Health and gems, health and gems. Give me, give me, give me. Um, but yeah, no, I could absolutely do that. Especially considering how much art I've got. Yeah. Um, ooh, big-ass chest. Give me. Um... But yeah, no, a after that I was just like, alright, I suddenly regret going to anime conventions. Both on a physical level and an emo and like an emotional, like, mental, I don't want to deal with this anymore type level. Uh, so anytime anybody ever asks me if I watch anime, I'll be like, yep. But I'm generally not going to ever tell people what I watch. Unless it's like really good and like barely even counts as anime. So Mushishi effectively. Seriously. Uh, if you're not into anime, go watch Mushishi anyway, it's barely anime. It's just Japanese animation. I don't think there's even romance subplots anywhere. There's just like one dude that may or may not may not have like an eye patch. I can't even remember. Uh, and like the main cool main character almost feels kind of like a weird shaman version of Doctor Who in a lot of ways, which is awesome. Now let's get out of here before bad things happen to us. I really really hope I can get some more wind leaves in here. Those are fun. Unfortunately, signs are pointing to no, but that's okay too. Let's get that. Let's get the saw blade out of here. Wow, we do all sorts of damage. Like I, I'm not even like in Mishka death mode here. I'm just in like kick-ass. I'm extra extraordinarily overpowered mode, and that makes me really happy. Also, these stone guys keep committing suicide. Oh well, not the end of the world. Um, let's see. How, how's the anime spelled? M U S H I S H I Mushishi. It's awesome. Uh, it's like super slow though. Like a lot of people probably won't like it, especially if you like really energetic type shows. But it's it's really interesting. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I guess other like anime things that I will talk about and like everybody seems to universally love is pretty much anything by uh, Miyazaki. And Mushishi kind of falls in a similar class, even though it's not nearly as like childlike. It's still got that kind of like weird. Uh, mystical wonder that say like Spirit of the Way, Spirited Away, or like Nausicaa had. And seriously, if you haven't seen any of the uh, Miyazaki movies, do yourself a favor and go watch them. Again, not anime, just Japanese animation, and they're really good. Let's see, a little off topic. Have I played Ascendant? Yes, I have. I own the game. I think I own several copies of the games now as a result of humble bundles and stuff. Um, but I actually previewed that game before it even came out. And I, that's one of the roguelikes I actually beat myself up o over for not covering uh, properly. I think part of the problem is their original combat mechanics were awful. And so I was just like, alright, this game doesn't look like it's worth playing. And then Total Biscuit was like, this game is damn good. And I'm like, shit, really? Fuck. I missed that one. But yeah, no, at, at some point I'll probably play Ascendant. Unfortunately, it's only got local multiplayer from what I remember. And so I'd want to play Ascendant with somebody else. Uh, let's see. 